and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. On today's show, we take a look at the American Hereford Association. Today's commercial cattleman wants it all. And as we hear from commercial Hereford producers, as well as people who work alongside the breed within the industry, we understand why Hereford cattle deliver. They are accountable, predictable, profitable, and sustainable. There's a great show ahead, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. GenX provides cattlemen with complete shoot side service and the industry's most sought after genetics. Their cooperative structure is well suited for handling the needs of ranchers in a very people oriented manner. At GenX, it's about having a passion for beef from start to finish. GenX offers high quality semen from profitable sires along with a customized approach to genetic and reproductive programs. GenX is your partner in improving farm profits by getting more cows pregnant and more genetically superior calves on the ground. From bull power to people power, GenX is your source. Contact a GenX representative for more information or visit GenX online at genx.crynat.com. The DNA in a few blood drops can help you confidently select, manage, and market the cattle that will brand your legacy as a seed stock provider. Our partners at the American Hereford Association serve their members with the GGP-LD, a DNA profiler from Neogen's GeneSeq Operations, a state-of-the-art DNA lab in Lincoln, Nebraska. They use GGP-LD DNA profiling to predict the maternal, performance, and carcass traits your cattle will pass along to their offspring. Hereford GE EPDs help you raise cattle with the best maternal traits, the number one profit maker for cow-calf producers. You can reveal the future potential of young seed stock to produce calves that gain efficiently and produce quality carcasses. All that and more from a few drops of blood from the American Hereford Association along with their partner GeneSeq, the world leader in beef genomics. Hi, this is Dale Benheisen with Churchill Cattle Company in Montana, where for 35 years we have dedicated ourselves to producing and marketing the very best in Hereford genetics. We produce both polled and horned Herefords that are, have strong and balanced EPDs, lots of eye appeal, and come from a cow herd that is functional, uniform, high producing, and operates in the real world. We will hold our annual bull sale January 26th, the last Tuesday in January, where we will sell 120 Hereford bulls ready for work. We are the breeder of and home to Churchill Sensation 028X, the number one Cavanese bull in the breed and the most widely used bull in the breed. Sensation will be prominently featured in this bull sale. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Commercial producers see the importance of Hereford bulls in today's cow herd. Jess Herbers grew up in western Kansas in the commercial feed yard and stalker business. After marrying his wife, they moved to Virginia to help with her family's farm. My focus coming in was to, to uh, take part of the commercial end of it to uh, enhance uh, the benefits not only to the registered herd but to to uh, develop a commercial herd that, that had some merit. Uh, we have a strong base of Angus cows here uh, that are uh, uh, genetic base, uh, high in the production traits of merit. And so my goal in, in, uh, from the cow-calf perspective was how can I take the, the strong base of Angus cows and utilize heterosis or a different genetic base to improve what I have, not only uh, for the cow herd, but, but make sure that by the introduction of whatever breed I choose to use, that it's focused on end product merit, uh, that everything we do is consumer based, that every decision here on the ranch or uh, from a production standpoint, at the end of the day, 
the consumer is what drives it. As much as we love everything we do, that has to be the continual focus. It, it was a step knowing the, how strong the Angus base was to say, all right, if I'm gonna add a different breed of cattle, i.e. Hereford, what effects was this gonna have upon my end product? And could I get the breed along with Angus to, uh, to provide me with an animal that was superior with the traits of merit for, for me? One of the first things I realized from a production standpoint in the cow-calf business was that fertility drove everything. I can look at end product merit, I can look at weaning weights, but if I don't have a live calf to start with and a cow that's bred back, all of that goes out the window. So I said, how can I use the Hereford bull as a tool to improve my, the base of my Angus cow herd? The value that the Hereford bull or Hereford genetics brings to the equation, uh, not only did it help from the standpoint of uh, uh, female production, but what I thought to be the case has proven to be the case uh, with, with a, probably the first biggest test of, of crossbred F1 black baldy steers that fed. Still, at the end of the day, as we talk about value added premiums, i.e. dollar beef, about percent prime, the cattle that make the money are the cattle that yield red meat and yield uh, that convert on feed. You know, can I, can I take a pound of feed and turn it into a pound of gain the most efficiently? And after I do that, which is, was helped with a crossbred animal. Now, uh, I still need to go after and chase the other value-added incentives that are, that are out there. Today's commercial cattleman wants it all. Hereford cattle can help meet those needs. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Sand Hill Farms is a family-owned farming and ranching operation located in South Central Kansas. Kevin, Vera, and son, Tyler Schultz, and Kevin's parents manage this progressive Hereford outfit. The diverse beef operation has maintained a commercial cow herd for more than 70 years. Retaining ownership in the feedlot and gathering carcass data provides valuable feedback for rapid progress. Sand Hill Farms is committed to using the best available selection tools, including genomic technology, to produce problem-free value-added Hereford cattle. Today, the registered cow herd is a result of three decades of disciplined improvement. Join the Schultz family for the annual Sand Hill Farms Spring Production Sale, Friday, April 1st, 2016, at the ranch near Haviland, Kansas. Upstream Ranch, located in the midst of the Sand Hills, just 17 miles north of Taylor, Nebraska, originated back in 1937. Today, Upstream Ranch calves out 1,000 head of registered calves each year, with half calving in the spring and half in the fall. They utilize a very intensive AI and ET program. Their main focus is the production of bulls for the commercial cattlemen. Roughly two-thirds of their bull crop will make the bull sale. They are rigidly culled for performance, soundness, fertility, and disposition. The cow herd is also culled very aggressively for problem-free production. Good feet, eyes, and especially sound udders are essential. Upstream Ranch has a production sale each year on the first Saturday in February, and they'd love to have you join them this year. Visit their website for more information. Upstream Ranch, providing quality Hereford genetics for the commercial cattlemen for over 75 years. Ritter Hereford Ranch has been breeding registered Hereford cattle in the Sand Hills of Nebraska since 1908. Their upcoming production sale will be Thursday, February 4th at 1 p.m. Central at their ranch sale barn west of Callaway, Nebraska. Ritters will sell 90 bulls, yearlings, including Ritter's 2016 National Western Stock Show Spring Car Load and two-year-old bulls. Ritters will also sell 50 yearling heifers straight from their replacements. When you buy Ritter Herefords, you buy maternal, efficient, profitable, and proven. Join them on the seats 
or via Superior for Ritter Hereford Ranch's annual bull and heifer sale Thursday, February 4th at 1 p.m. Central at Callaway, Nebraska. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The American Hereford Association Comprehensive National Reference Sire Program, or NRSP, is the envy of the seed stock industry. During the program's 16 years, more than 300 bulls have been tested. Douglas Olson with Olson Ranches of Nebraska has been a partner in the National Reference Sire Program since 1999. We've been involved with the American Hereford Association through their National Reference Sire Program test since 1999. Through that program, uh, members of the Hereford Association nominate bulls that then we choose from and test those bulls in our commercial cow herd. Our family uh, certainly enjoys the genetic aspect of breeding cattle and uh, the Hereford Association asked us to uh, AI some of our cows and we gladly accepted because we enjoy being able to better not only our cows but the breed and the industry uh, to produce better beef and uh, more efficiently provide beef to the table for the American consumer. Thus we were excited to join with the opportunity join the opportunity to uh, be involved in this program to help gather data for our herd as well as the Hereford Association. Uh, we started this program in 1999. The first calves that were born in our herd were born in 1999. Uh, since then, we've uh, collected data on over 10,500 progeny out of that would represent 200 sires. And in 2010, our family installed a grow safe system on our operation. And with that, with cooperation of the American Herbs Association, we have collected feed efficiency data on all of our AI sired steers in that. And since 2010, we have tested 67 sires representing nearly 1,700 progeny. All of the heifers in our herd would be sired by bulls that we have used through this program, with a few exceptions of bulls that we have used in our heifers of a different breed. However, we can say that nearly 98% of the cows in our herd are AI sired and uh, we've seen some dramatic changes as we've been able to build upon the basics that we've started with and selecting for lower birth weight, uh, more growth in our cattle in 1999. Um, as we've developed, we've went into more emphasis on carcass traits and have certainly improved our marbling scores. And currently, over the last three or four years, our steers have been anywhere from 85 to 95 percent choice when they go to harvest. Uh, we will be approximately 40% upper two-thirds choice and prime in those steers. Uh, with our heifer progeny that go to harvest, we will be nearly 100% choice or prime on those cattle. Through the years, we've been able to collect other data uh, besides the birth weight, weaning weight, yearling production data. Now feed efficiency data, we're able to find some sires out there that have certainly uh, converted that feed resource that we have to more pounds of beef more efficiently. Uh, we've also been able to improve uh, some other traits such as udder scores that we track and uh, just the efficiency of that cow and understanding the stability and the, the efficiency of the Hereford cow. But we understand the importance of the Hereford cattle that they bring to offer. Uh, they certainly have calving knees today. Uh, the docile temperament of the Hereford cattle is a big advantage in most operations, whether it's on the cow-calf operation, the feeding operation, or even at harvest. From 2004 to 2014, American Hereford Association's genetic trends indicate a 14% reduction in birth weights, 20% improvement in weaning and yearling performance, and 30% improvement in end product merit. We'll be right back. I use an AI service to increase the genetic potential of my herd. We're using top-notch pools. There's no way I could afford to go buy 
the bulls that I'm using now without AI. I knew Shane would be somebody that could get the job done and provide me with the help that I needed to do a project like this. I AI myself, but there's no way that I could do 250 head in a project by myself, so I relied on Flex Sires to help me fill that gap. Dudley Brothers Limited is a family-owned and operated, registered and commercial Hereford operation headquartered in Comanche County, Texas. In the registered Hereford business since 1938, Dudley Brothers is known for producing practical and adaptable, commercially oriented bulls and females that work well throughout all regions of Texas and the surrounding states. Dudley Brothers holds a fall production sale each year in October at the ranch headquarters two miles southwest of Comanche with an offering of 125 two-year-old bulls. Females are normally sold private treaty in late spring. Dudley Brothers Herd Bull Battery includes individuals that represent the best in horned beef Hereford genetics and the ranch adds several young prospects each year from top ranches across the United States. Hoffman Ranch is a family-owned and operated cattle ranch located in the Sand Hills of Nebraska. The Hoffman family has more than 50 years experience breeding top quality Hereford cattle. With the goal of modern, stout, functional cattle, their program is based around proven genetics that can produce quality cattle for the progressive commercial cowmen. Hoffman Ranch sells 400 bulls annually through auction and private treaty. The Hoffmans host their annual bull sale the third Friday in February each year. The offering includes yearling, 18-month-old, and 2-year-old Hereford bulls, plus Angus and Sim Angus bulls. The offering also includes large groups of commercial replacement heifers. They also host a female sale the last Monday of September each year, and sell large groups of registered females throughout the year. For more information, you can visit them at HoffmanRanch.com. White Hawk Ranch is located in Buchanan, Georgia, and is owned and operated by Gary Hedrick. The Hedrick family has been involved in the Hereford cattle industry since 1926 and produces some of the most popular bloodlines of the Hereford breed today. The mission of White Hawk Ranch is to produce problem-free Hereford cattle that come easily at birth, excel in growth, have value-added carcass merit, and are highly maternal to replenish the herd focusing heavily on outstanding performance and carcass traits that create bulls to satisfy every kind of cattleman. Coming this February 19, 2016 will be the largest offering in the Southeast with the heart of their programs, Hereford Bulls and Females. Please visit whitehawkbeefmakers.com or give them a call today. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Using proven tools, Hereford producers have made dramatic improvements in maternal efficiency, calving ease, docility, and feed efficiency. Lorna Marshall with Gen X Cooperative sees firsthand how Hereford bulls make an impact in your cow herd. I am a huge fan of the Hereford breed. I think they have done as good of a job as really any breed in terms of uh, being very open and addressing a lot of the issues that they would have had 18 or 20 years ago, whether you're talking about birth weight, mature size, uh, teat and udder quality, um, cancer eye, uh, flushing ability, any of those issues. And probably what gets me so excited is um, I think that the Hereford Association has a really awesome group of progressive breeders who identify their challenges and address them head on. And it's exciting to me to see uh, the trends that we've seen in a lot of key traits that are important to commercial producers, whether that be calving ease and birth weight. Um, you know, 15 years ago, we couldn't find bulls that we wanted to bring into AI studs because we couldn't find bulls that met our calving ease criteria for our commercial producers. Today, we can go out and find tons of high accuracy, proven calving East Hereford bulls that we can use in heifer projects. And it's really fun to go shop for Hereford bulls today. Um, other traits, um, they've done a great job of maintaining the performance that the cattle have, but really moderating mature size and keeping that in check. 
Um, and some traits that maybe EPDs don't measure, um, like flushing ability, I think we've made lots of strides in terms of making cattle that are a little bit um, easier doing. Um, I love the fact that the Hereford Association is the first breed to come out with teat and utter quality EPDs. Um, that has been a trait that, you know, when I get calls from commercial producers and I have to try to give them uh, somewhat subjective information just be based off the limited number of cattle I see. Now we have hardcore objective data that we can utilize to really describe those cattle and make great genetic progress. And so I just love the progressive nature of the entire breed. Um, whole herd reporting is really hard for a breed association to implement and get buy-in. And, uh, you know, I think the leadership from the board and the staff, they did a great job of really uh, getting buy-in from the breeders. And I think it has made your database much stronger. Um, you know, the data is extremely accurate. We don't see a lot of moves once we get the cattle proven. Um, I think commercial producers have stood up and taken notice that, hey, this is a breed that's really serious about genetic improvement. Um, and it's going to allow you to look and analyze um, fertility traits that other breeds that don't have whole herd reporting aren't going to be able to do. So to me it's been extremely valuable for the commercial industry and for companies like the one I work for. Yeah, I think when you implemented um, your um, reference sire carcass test program, um, it's been awesome. We utilize it to test all of the Hereford bulls that we acquire um, because we want to be able to accurately describe those cattle throughout the entire production chain. So it's been very valuable to us. And it's interesting today that you know we're having those discussions with other breed associations that are wanting to do what Hereford is able to do. And it's because your breeders have been able to make progress on some in merit traits like marbling and ribeye area, um, whereas we don't have proven um, you know sires and other breeds because they lack a program to get those cattle tested all the way through the production chain so it's been very valuable and, and you know I think from whole herd reporting to the carcass merit program it just shows that the Hereford breed and their breeders are very focused on um, you know the entire production chain and making sure that the cattle are profitable for everyone um, throughout the system commercial producers today, um, still calving ease is going to be very important to them because with um, reduced labor, um, commercial producers simply don't have time to have hassles, um, you know, when it comes to particularly a lot of these large commercial operations. Um, but they really want it all. They want performance. They want females um, that are going to rebreed, that aren't going to create any problems in terms of disposition and teat and utter quality. Um, I think we are seeing more sophisticated producers asking us about mature size and feed efficiency and some of those traits. And I commend the Hereford Association. I know you've been doing a lot of work in terms of trying to characterize feed efficiency. And I think that really is going to be the next frontier for us in terms of looking at costs in our operation. Um, but really, commercial producers don't want the extremes. They just want the entire package, balanced trait bulls that are going to keep them between the white lines and the road. It was just amazing to me how much progress the Hereford breed had made, and it was really hard for me to you know, find big holes that they needed to address. I mean, I really think the breed is to the point where they can look at some new traits and tweak some things, um, but you know, everything from looking at carcass merit and end product to um, teat and utter quality traits to addressing calving ease, um, I'm just always impressed with uh, the progressiveness of the breeders at being very um, upfront about their issues and then addressing them head on and doing it in a really quick manner. So it's been really fun to watch the progress of the breed. Thanks to all this progress, Hereford semen use in the commercial industry is also increasing. According to the National Association of Animal Breeders, domestic Hereford semen sales increased 24% compared to those of last year. Hereford domestic semen sales have steadily increased since 2006, 179%, a testament to the increasing demand for Hereford genetics in the commercial industry. The Jensen family and Dylan Evans, both of Kansas, have graciously donated the foundation female Salsa to sell as Lot 1 January 15, 2016 during the Mile High Night Sale at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. One of the highlight events for Hereford enthusiasts at the National Western Stock Show is our annual Mile High Night Sale, which occurs on the stadium floor uh, at the National Western. Uh, we will be offering approximately 50 lots of elite genetics through this sale. Uh, one of the true features of this sale will be our Lot 1 female, which will be a, the, what we call the foundation female, where the proceeds are all donated to the Hereford Youth Foundation of America. 
That's all the time we have today. We hope you enjoyed our story on the American Hereford Association. The American Hereford Association delivers cattle that are accountable, predictable, profitable, and sustainable. For more information, visit their website, hereford.org. And for more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or friend us on Facebook. We'd love to make contact with you. I'm Pam Minnick for the entire American Rancher team. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you right back here next time.